struck by just how quickly the discourse is moving on this topic. Um, I, you know, two years ago when I attended the conference, it was very much focused on supporting children as they transition socially. So it was very much, you know, still staying within the boxes, but we're just moving from one to another with a lot of these kids. Mm -hmm. And I think that um, as we have more public awareness for this issue and as more families come forward, it's really pushing the way we need to talk about this and that that wasn't really working for all the families and that there are a lot of families out there who need to start talking about that in-between space. Mm -hmm. um, what if their child doesn't identify as a girl or a boy, if they're somewhere in the middle or a little bit of both or neither? Um, and so this conference, I was just really struck by the focus on um, the spectrum and, and then, you know, truly being outside the binary and how much was given to that um, in terms of resources and support for families. And I think that that just illustrates how quickly we're moving, that we're, we're making social space for kids that aren't feeling comfortable in any box. Whereas mm -hmm. a few years ago, that would have been, a few years ago, even moving boxes was unheard of. So I think that that's a really significant step that we're taking. Yeah, well, that's. I I was struck by that as well. So I think it's it's interesting because you're really going into depth with this. That you're noticing that. Um, I've I've noticed just in talking to to my older kids that there's a lot more understanding of pronouns. You know, in a way that I was never aware of that as a child. You know, like what what's your preferred gender pronoun? And oh, maybe somebody who's in the middle or not. You know, who knows where they're not quite sure they're not fitting into a, they're outside the box somewhere, right? Just to, um, they they want to use they, you know, and that's that's to my grammatical ears that sounds so strange, and so it's been a real getting used to, you know. It, it seems like almost we've been moving away from the here and z and and that sort of thing into just a they as the third pronoun. Is that something you've noticed as well? Um, yes, I have noticed that I've actually spoken with several families who are really struggling with that issue in school, right, and, and what pronouns to have the school use for their child that isn't feeling like she or he is appropriate for them. Mm -hmm. um, and they does seem to be the most popular, but as you just noted, it's uh, one challenge that parents are running into is that it's very, very hard to introduce they as a pronoun to a class full of second graders who are learning about grammar. <laughs> yes. Because that throws a little wrench in everybody's, you know, they're grammatically, um, mm -hmm. it does sound odd to us. So that's mm -hmm. a whole new challenge. But note that children, often in my study, it seems like children are the ones that come to this very easily and that mm -hmm. when issues pop up for families, it's, the issues are really coming from other adults in their lives. But the children are very open and supportive of one another around these mm. areas, by and large, it seems. Which seems really hopeful um, that, because they, they're going to need the, the support of their peers. So that's great to hear that that's another trend you're seeing, is that there's support from the other children. Though I imagine, I know there's a lot around anti-bullying, so I imagine there's still some of that. Do you do you see that that's coming from an adult influence, or what? What? What's a? What's that about? Because we do still see bullying happening. Yeah, um, you know, I think it. My, I think there are a couple things that might influence it, but certainly the parents that I talk to. Something I hear pretty consistently from parents is everything was fine at school until kids started telling their moms and dads. Uh, you know, and the, so, it, so the sense from other parents is that this really does come from adults because they transition, school's going fine until the other kids go home and tell their friends, like, oh, did you know that, you know, John is Sarah now? And that that's when they start having issues. Um, so it's, for as much as I can get purchased on that in, in my, the way I'm doing my study, mm -hmm. um, that's certainly what parents feel is happening a lot of the time.